Harper. Howard Feynman is editorial director for the Huffington Post Media Group, and David Korn is Washington bureau chief for Mother Jones. Both are MSNBC contributors. Well, yesterday on NBC's Meet the Press, as I said, Senator Rand Paul took after former Vice President Dick Cheney and his discredited case for crack. And on ABC, Cheney hit back. Let's watch both. Do you think Dick Cheney is a credible critic of this president? I think the same questions could be asked of those who supported the Iraq war. You know, were they right in their predictions? Were there weapons of mass destruction there? That's what the war was sold on. Was democracy easily achievable? Was the war won in 2005 when many of these people said it was won? Um, they didn't really, I think, understand the civil war that would break out. Rand Paul, and by my standards, as I look at his, his uh, philosophy, is basically an isolationist. That didn't work in the 1930s. It sure as heck won't work in the aftermath of 9-11, when 19 guys armed with airline tickets and box cutters came all the way from Afghanistan and killed 3,000 of our citizens. You know, bringing up Hitler again, every time these guys, you know, get a Hitler, the differences between a war we've been in and whether they go back in well, again. But also, wait, 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 wait one second. He's bringing up 9-11 as well. We're not in Iraq because of 9-11. He's back to the same bag of tricks, right. conflating the war in Iraq with a response to 9-11. WMDs, the connection with Al-Qaeda, all that disproven. You know, I'm surprised that people let him go on TV and talk this way. He's delusional. He's just... Well, we're not somebody. booking him. Well, although I'd like, <laughs> somebody I keeps would. booking him. I tell I you, he and Wolfowitz and a couple of these guys mm -hmm. get, get regular bookings. Mm -hmm. Your thoughts, Howard? And, and first of well, all, let's get to this fundamental question. Mm -hmm. It seems to me the Republican Party is now doing something it never did back in 2004. And when you had any time Ron Paul dared to question this war in he Iraq. Was practically booed off the stage. Rudy America. Giuliani would yeah. jump up you know, like a vampire and go right at him. Well, uh, better late than never, I guess. The Republicans are having the debate within their party that they didn't dare have in the early parts of the last decade. Dick Cheney didn't answer the questions there that were implicit in Rand Paul's critique. Paul wasn't calling names. He wasn't shouting about World War II. He wasn't shouting about 9-11. He very practically said, did we understand that there'd be a civil war there? Are we safer than we were? Did the war really end in 2005? He was asking very logical, straight-ahead questions that any sensible person in either party or no party would ask. And Dick Cheney comes back with the name-calling. He comes back with, you're an isolationist. And, and it's yeah. just like Hitler in the you're 30s. You're yeah, yeah. And, yeah, yeah. and, you and that's not, that, that worked. What Dick Cheney doesn't understand, I don't think, but what a lot of Republicans, including Rand Paul, do understand is that that kind of name calling an easy route to political superiority that the Bush Cheney administration used a decade ago won't work now. And it won't work even in Republican primaries. It's not going to work in they, the Republican they, 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 primaries. Okay, let me, let me try something by this. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't just the ideologues, the freedom agenda people, the whole yeah. Bush crowd, uh, the neocons and the yeah. Cheney crowd that got us in the war. It was the people who went along with them in the Republican Party, sure. the Democrats. business Repo and Democrats, yeah, too, but business yeah. Republicans, regular Republicans, right. who just want lower taxes and less government. Yeah. They all went along with that war. Well, we Why did they go along with well, it? We, because maybe Republicans do troop along. They're more regular than Democrats. Yeah. They like to follow the leader. But you tell well, me was, what's the, not happening now. I no. think Howard said it. That mentality of just follow right. the guys like well, Dick Cheney is over. Hey, hey, we remember what it was like a year, two years after 9-11. They got that war because they played on fear. They, you know, the smoking cloud being a mushroom cloud, the smoking gun being a mushroom cloud, and all that. It was fear-driven to get the public on their side. Having, you know, gotten one success at this, you get maybe one bite at this apple, and, and creating a disaster, now the public at large is skeptical, and Republicans, you know, even whether they believe it or because of politics, See that the okay, public here, won't, here, won't, okay. go for, won't go for this okay. again. Why so doesn't why. Cheney, maybe it's not in his brain soup, if you will, but why doesn't he just say, he's on these big television shows on Sunday, why doesn't he just say, you know what, I think we've got interests about Israel there, we have interests yeah. about oil. Yeah. There's a lot of reasons why we, have, we don't want a feeding ground or a, a, a training yeah. ground for terrorists. Give the specifics. These are reasonable arguments. Yeah. I don't agree with them all put together, but yeah. instead of just saying no, anybody who dares disagree with me is basically well, Chris, a, 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 a piece. Again, what he doesn't understand is that that kind of debate is going to happen this time around. Uh, as David said, they used the fear card very successfully a decade ago. 
Now, if we're going to continue with this, if we are going to argue that ISIS is a real threat and so on and so forth, people are going to want to hear the real reasons. Yeah. What are the reasons here? And, and also, the nature of the Republican Party has changed, as you were pointing out. It's much more of a grassroots, primary-oriented party and less of a salute, who's next in line kind of thing. By the way, there is nobody next in line in the, yeah, in yeah, the Republican yeah, yeah. Party, which is what gives Rand Paul and people like him a chance to really have an impact this time around. Let's take a look at this interesting co conversation point here yesterday. Uh, Senator Paul gave a personal answer to David Gregory's question on Meet the Press about the U.S. role in Iraq. This is one of those great back and forths. Listen to this. 